49 pounds. 49 pounds? No! So he was even bigger what? than our first. I, I'm gonna say on record, I'm officially uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> She's insisting that I sit in their bedroom on this rocker. I was so excited. <laughs> I think I might have had some gook on my finger. So I did the chef's kiss, and I think I had a piece of what? viscera on my hand. Good morning, y'all folks. I'm Sean the Modern Yeoman, and it's about 8 in the morning. It's going to be a big day today. Temperature is about perfect for where for what we want to do today. I'd say it's somewhere in the mid-30s at the moment, which, as far as I'm concerned, is optimum for our plans this afternoon. One of my favorite things to do in the morning, one of the first things that I try and do in the morning, is just stand here and drink coffee and look at the front pasture. There's something about this simple meditative exercise that gets me started on the right foot. Give it a shot. So come with me, guys. It's pretty exciting. Like I said, we have a big day today. We're gonna have a guest. My buddy Nate Kramer from The Kramer Life is gonna be joining us. Check this out. As I walk out here this morning, you'll note two things about the scene behind me. Number one, there's an electrical cord running into this barrel. Number two, there's steam rising from the barrel. That might raise a lot of questions in your head. Let's see what's happening. So look at this. You'll note that this barrel, it's a 55 gallon oil barrel, is filled about two thirds of the way with water. And you'll also note that there's this electrical cord running into the tank. Normally in the course of your life, you never want an electrical cord running in to a tub of water. It's something you always try to avoid. So naturally I was skeptical when I heard about this method of heating water in a barrel, but I tried it out and it's worked very well. I walked out this morning and the barrel, uh, remember it's like 35 degrees. The barrel was steaming as I walked out. I plugged this thing in last night and it's steaming like a, like a hot cup of tea this morning. I'm half tempted to throw on some swimming trunks and jump in. We're gonna see what the temperature is, and then we're gonna determine whether or not we need to enlist the help of our friend, the propane heater. So I've got a propane stove down there underneath the barrel and a full tank of propane, which I'm prepared to light up to help heat up this water. But again, look at that steam. I might not, I might not need to at all. Let's check the temp. Before I do that though, <laughs> let me unplug that immersive heating element, because I do not want to touch that water at all once it's plugged in. Water that has something electric plugged in while it's in the water is very, very dangerous. But I unplugged it, and I can check that I've unplugged it by seeing that the light is off. So, let's see how hot this water is this morning. Feels nice. It looks like it's about 150 degrees, which for what we're going to do today, which if you haven't guessed by now, I'll break the, break the news. We're going to process turkey number two, tom turkey number two. We did tom turkey number one a few months ago. It didn't go so well. Um, we learned a lot of lessons that day. We've upped our game, and we hope to make this process a lot more efficient and a lot more humane for the turkey. However, what I was saying was I want this water to be just under boiling because after we dispatch the turkey, we are going to dip him in here and we are gonna move him to a tub to remove his feathers. The water, in order to scald and remove the feathers easier, should be a bit below boiling. So somewhere between 150 and boiling. So I, I'll need to get this warmer. So I am gonna light up the propane just to just to kickstart it and keep it going. Regardless, with as cold as it's been, it got down into the 20s last night. Having this immersion heater work for me overnight was beautiful. I'm definitely going to recommend this thing to anyone that wants to heat up water in a barrel. It cost me 20 something dollars on Amazon. I'm very, very glad I got it. Are you getting in a fight with Nate, fighter? He doesn't like me. He was bugging you, right? He doesn't like me. My buddy Nate made it. Yo. If you don't know who the Kramer Life is, 
do yourself an absolute favor and check out their channel, please. I thought, I thought you were gonna say, just stay away. Just stay <laughs> away, don't ever get involved. <laughs> Actually, don't get involved, because you get so wrapped up in their journey, <laughs> you will be obsessed. I, I know we are. Anyways, Nate is here to help. He's my buddy on a homestead here in East Tennessee, not too far from us. And he's gonna help me with this guy. Because this is a two-person job. And this guy, what do you, what, before, before we commence with the project today, Nate, what would you estimate this guy will weigh dressed out? Dressed you know out. the last one was 47 pounds. Yeah, I don't know what the size difference was, though, so I'm just going to guess, I'm going to say uh, 38 pounds. 38 pounds? Yep. I'm going to, I'm going to say 42 pounds. Oh, wow. Okay. It's, he's definitely smaller than the last guy. Uh -huh. He's got some gray in his beard. Check it out. Um, he's definitely smaller than the last guy, but yeah, I don't think he's. I don't think he's in the 30s. Right. We'll see. We'll see. We'll find out. The way this is going to work out is one of us will come from behind, Butterball here, grab him, pick him up, and his legs are going to stick out. The other person's going to grab the legs, and then the two of us are going to carry him a short distance. One person holding one leg over here to the other side of the barn, the other lean-to in the barn. So we're gonna walk through here and we're gonna make it to our updated hanging apparatus. We have some steps here in case we need them. I have a feeling we might. And what we're gonna do, previously, our last time turkey, we had a rope and that rope snapped because it wasn't strong enough. This time, I got myself a winch chain, which won't break. This will not break at all. However, we still need some sort of apparatus to hang the feet in. So I have this paracord, which is rated for up to 250 pounds. We'll see if that's the case. We put a slip knot in it. We're gonna slip his feet through here and then secure the slip knot. And at that point, we're going to dispatch the tom turkey. We'll let him bleed out. It's not a long journey from bleeding out to going into the tub. Once he's in the tub, which ideally we'd like to get to just below boiling, we are gonna use this guy to dunk, dunk him. Um, I am actually, after I'm done with this film, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of dish soap in there because a lot of viewers gave me the recommendation of using dish soap to help ease the removal of feathers. It took us all day on the last tom because we spent the entire time just removing feathers. It was a pain in the butt. Hopefully this will make that process a lot more easy. So after I'm done filming this, I'm going to put this in and stir it up. Um, dabble do you I probably won't put all of that in just a little bit I'll stir it up once he's been sufficiently dunked and we can pull the feathers off easily we're gonna move them in this tub and just commence to plucking hopefully that process is very quick once he's plucked and he's naked then we're gonna move him over here I might need to adjust this so it's not angled downward and we're gonna actually start cutting him up I've got buckets arrayed here to help with dumping the guts. The guts are going to go to the pigs. And I'm going to cut them up, and we'll bring them inside and probably finish the cutting in there. Hopefully this process won't take that long. I said that last time, and I was very wrong. If it doesn't take long, we may have time to do the turkey hens. And ideally, I'd like to send a turkey hen home with Nate. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see what the process is like. So we're going to get to it. All right, so I'm not gonna show the gory bits, but we're done. Um, I will say this process went a lot smoother than the first time my dad and I did it, just because we anticipated some of the issues. The body, I'm not gonna show you the head, but the body is hanging just fine. This paracord is holding him without problem, and the winch chain is doing it. Anytime you do something like this, it's a little shocking to your system. Um, how do you feel about it, Nate? You know, we just took an animal's life, so yes. it's uh, do it do it quickly, as painlessly uh, uh, as possible, with respect. Yes. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things where it's, it's, it's sad, but it's also we need to be grateful for what it's offering. I am grateful for this animal's life. I'm also grateful that his death was very quick and probably painless. I would say from the time I cut. Oh, yeah. 
uh, till we got his head in the bucket. It was very quick. Like I said, a much different story than last time. We're gonna let him bleed out a little bit. I'm, again, I'm not gonna show you the actual parts down there. We're gonna let him bleed out a bit. And then we're going to remove the cover, dunk him, and let him soak and hopefully get these feathers removed. We were able to save the tail. What I'm gonna do with this, I don't know. Nate, do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hang it in your, hang it above your bed, That's right? right? <laughs> what um, is that smell, Katie? <laughs> All right. yes. Yes. You know. <laughs> All right. Oh, it came off. Came off. All right. Because it's keeping me warm. <laughs> you look quite cozy. <laughs> so Nate is just letting him dunk. I don't know if I mentioned this. It's been kind of a blur, but... We did not get up over 150. 150 is where it's been capped off. And even though we had the lid on it, it didn't get above 150, which isn't tepid. It's not lukewarm, but it's not scalding either. So we may need to let this guy sit in there for a bit. Um, we do have the dish soap, which maybe makes things easier. But here in a few seconds, we're gonna try pulling some of the feathers to see how easy they come out. And hopefully they come out easy and then we can move him over to this tub, which is my hope for the next step. How's it coming out? Easy. Oh, good. Easy. Man, we, that's great. I hope we did not uh, cook, cook it. Oh, this is so much better than last time. Oh, that's easy. Man, I hope we didn't cook that meat. Well, it seems like it's coming off a little bit tougher on the hands. Oh, boy, this is so much better. Bird number one is done. Nate, I think this went so much better yes. than the initial run that we had. This guy, his innards are, are cleaned out. Um, his neck is out, his crop is removed. We had a little bit of trouble with the crop, but we did get the crop removed. We're gonna go weigh him now, and then we're probably gonna do the turkey hens at this point. I'm gonna send Nate home with one of them. At this point, we're gonna weigh him. And I think I said 142. And you said 137. No, I said 38. 38. You've yeah. Got, you got like, Do I got some stuff? You got this. He has viscera on his beard. So 138 and no, I'm 142. No, no, 38. Oh. You're 142. I'm 38. I think I'm way <laughs> closer. I think I'm way closer than you are. My brain is scrambled. Okay. 42, 38. 38 We're yeah. about to go find out what this boy really is. Okay. So, now we're about to see how much I weigh carrying this thing. Wow, oh, that is heavy. All right, let's pop them in the... So, I don't know what the math is on that. They were both wrong. Four. Henry, do you want to tell them? Hang on, let me get this. Oh, heavy bird. <laughs> you want to tell them? Maybe you're closer to that 100 mark. 49 pounds. 49 pounds? No! So he was even bigger what? than our first no, one. No, no, because we didn't weigh the other one with the wings on. Yeah. Remember, the wings oh, were off. Oh, that's right. So, so the wings are on. So he's probably about the same about the as same. his brother. 49 okay. pounds. Woo, boy. 49 pounds. 49 pounds. <laughs> All right, that's so. Like... What do you think, Henry? Are you impressed or are you going to pout? That's like because two, it's not good that's enough. Like two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got cold. So Nate I complained of his, his, cold, his feet being cold. Okay. So Holly we said, have, no, follow don't me. Don't say what it is. Don't say what it is. I, I'm going to say on record, I'm officially uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> She's insisting that I sit in their bedroom on this rocker with my shoes off. I have and she has a secret around the corner. <laughs> About You're about to find out. Warm. You're about to find out. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> How's it feel, Nate? Is that warming you up? Do you, would you rather hold the dryer? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Holly, you can hold the dryer. Holly, what do you think, Kinsley? This is true friendship, right? right? Yes. This is true friendship. <laughs> what do you think, Kinsley? Okay, so Tom Turkey went very well, very smooth. All the issues that we had when we did the Tom Turkey the first time, 
we did not have this time. He, the rope didn't snap. Uh, he was dispatched very quickly and very humanely. The dish soap t trick, thank you for the people that gave me that tip. The feathers flew right off. We had no, p how long did we spend feathering? 10 minutes? Yeah. 10 minutes it took us versus all day on our first time turkey. We were able to gut him within a half an hour. So at this point, we're feeling good. We're feeling pumped up enough to where we're actually gonna work on, we're actually gonna do the turkey hens at this point. And Nate, I don't know what you feel, but I'm thinking they'll fit in the kill cones. I looked at the head opening here. Okay. And I am reasonably confident that their heads will fit through the opening Let's there. Let's try it. Now these guys have some kick. The turkey hens have some kick, but not nearly as much kick as the tom does. And when I say kick, I just mean muscle strength when they're, they're they don't like being picked up. So these guys will kick, but. All right, Brownie. The secret, I think, with all birds is just hanging them up that, upside down. It really calms them down. Um, she's a lot more s soothed and settled. So she's bleeding out right now and she's gone. She's done. She fits in the kill cone very easily. I'm gonna let her bleed out and I'm gonna get the second one at this point. Okay, Nate, so turkey hens are done, lickety split. That was quick. That was 25 minutes. It, they, was. Went from, they went from being out there yelling at us and squawking at us to in these coolers in maybe half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Which when we do meat chickens, it's usually pretty quick. The toms are a little bit more involved, but the turkey hens are closer to the meat chicken side of the spectrum. You want to show us what these, what these yeah. gals look like? There's one. Yeah. I think that's the one you're going home with, Nate? Uh, the bigger one's this one. Okay, so that yeah. one we're holding I'm on to. I'm leaving you with more feathers. <laughs> okay, I'll t we'll take that. And then this one, a little bit bigger. Look at that, Look that's at that. beautiful. Go ahead and pop that baby in your truck, my friend. That is beautiful. So when we started this process this morning, it was maybe 9.30 or 10? 10. 10.30. I think we actually got started with the Tom at about 10.30. 10.30, it's two o'clock right now. And we got three hens on ice, or no, two hens, three, two hens, tom. one tom on ice in a relatively short period of time. Yeah. Now, if you're processing meat chickens, obviously go through a much greater number than that. But tom turkey's no joke, right? That's was, a big animal. Uh, <laughs> it's <was> huge. <laughs> Heavy, 49 pounds dressed out. We're very happy with that. But it went very smoothly. It went mm -hmm. so much better than the previous time. Oh, yeah, that's great. Thank you, Nate, for sure. helping. Thank you for stopping by. Next time you process something, call me up because I will be on my way. Next time you need help at all, call all right. me up. Um, I hope you enjoy your I turkey know, hen. I'm super excited about this, this turkey. Though. You're gonna brine it. Holly yep. gave you some good advice on yep. brining it mm -hmm. and you're gonna smoke it up. I think I'm gonna smoke half of it uh -huh. and the other half probably other roast it. I'm so excited. I think I might have had some gook on my finger. So I did the chef's kiss, and I think I had a piece of viscera on my hands. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with us. This was a, dare I say, a pleasant experience. Compared with the last turkey, this was a breeze. Thank you, Nate. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Until we see you again next time, remember, as always, slowly, slowly.